Hey everyone, welcome back to Move Over Martha. So tonight's project is a little photo bracelet that I've been working on. I found a seller on Etsy that sells it in like a kit form and I was able to buy five of these bracelets that have eight sections for pictures and it came with the clear cabochons that fit directly inside of each of those circles. So it was like five bracelets and then eight cabochons for each bracelet. So there's like 40 cabochons for like $15, which I thought was a pretty good deal. I, um, I think it's great for like a Christmas gift or a teacher gift, any kind of gift really. I mean, if you break it down, it's only like $3 a bracelet. So how can you go wrong? Um, I also purchased some other stuff from the seller. They had like pendants. They came like 10 in a pack with the cabochons that fit that also. And they um, had heart ones with the cabochons. These gold, it's like a riveted edge on it. And it, these here did not, they must not have the cabochons that match it so they sell like it's still a cabochon but it has like a sticky back to it which I like the glass ones better but it's not a big deal really and then they have these round ones with the cabochon so the set of 10 with the cabochon they ran like around five or six dollars for 10 pendants and 10 cabochons I really didn't think that was that pricey either um the seller is called L and Company, E L L E and A N D Company, spelled out all the way. It's all one word. That's the name of her store. I'll try to put it down in the description box. I'm not really good with like linking things to other pages, but I will at least write it out. So, um, here's the stuff you need for the project. I had a photographer take some pictures of my family. I'd say back kind of like in the winter time and we did like black and whites with like we all had the matching you know black shirt and the denim and I have been wanting to do something with these pictures in a jewelry form so I was excited to get this started tonight. I started this and I've done three so far uh, hearing the pictures to it. I used this paper glaze so what I did was, at first, I put the paper glaze on the back of the cabochon very, very lightly. So, let's see. You need the thinnest coat, and I spread it out with my finger and then, like, wiped off the excess on my finger onto the paper towel. And then what I did was I just set this cabochon on top of the picture. I'm going to go ahead and set the camera down with the tripod on it and then turn the camera back on. So give me one sec. Alright, so I'm back. So I just put, let me grab a paper towel. I first printed out the pictures onto like just regular um, computer paper. And the small ones I did like 7 eighths of an inch in size by seven eighths of an inch and that seemed to fit the circle perfectly and then I did this larger one in like one inch and you can see it's a little um, hanging off on the edge but that's fine because the cabochon I think is a little smaller and it might need to be trimmed so I used the Stampin' Up stamp in the three-quarter inch for the small, and it punched the picture to a perfect size to fit the bottom of that cabochon. And then this larger one, I used the one-inch punch from Stampin' Up to punch this picture, and it was kind of perfect, too. What I'm going to do is I'm going to spread this glue... And even that is still probably too much glue. So let's get a really, really thin layer. 
And then what I did was I just kind of plopped it on top of the picture and then spread it out afterwards. So let's see. Now what you want to do is you want to make sure that you don't have any air bubbles inside. So I really like pushed it down to flatten it out. Then I picked it up and made sure there was still no air bubbles by kind of pushing the paper to the back. And see how it's a little hanging off the edge? That's fine. What we're going to do is let this dry and then go back with an X-Acto knife and trim it off. If you try to trim it now, you'll probably just rip the paper because the paper is like soaking wet. So you got to just really be patient. Sometimes crafts call for patience. And I have to say, I'm not always the most patient person, but when you want the job done right, you have to really make sure. So see how it looks a little bubbled on the back? I'm just going to smooth it out with my finger. And don't worry if you get glue on the top here. Once your picture is adhered, because your fingers are all sticky, once it gets adhered, then you can go head back and kind of like scrub off the top of the cabochon once your picture is secured on the back. So I think that that looks pretty good. There's not a lot of air bubbles in it. And what I'm going to do is let that dry and then I'm going to glue it onto this pendant here so that it's going to kind of match the bracelet. So what I did with the bracelet is after I let the picture dry completely, I then put a little bit of this paper glaze. I use the paper glaze because this paper sometimes when you use like Mod Podge or something like that, the ink from the printer tends to bleed off and makes the picture really kind of like um messy looking. It's not really a clear picture. So I like to use that paper glaze and it's a real thin one because it's for paper. But in the, I also glued it on to the bracelet with this. But in the future, I think on other projects, once I have the picture adhered to the cabochon, I might glue it down to the jewelry with this glossy accents. The only reason why is I think that glossy accents dries a little quicker and the thing is you have to be really patient and let it dry because the cabochon is a little smaller than this opening and if you're not paying attention and the bracelet shifts, the cabochon will slide down a little bit. So once, it looks fine now, but once all that glue dries, it may look a little off and I ha I'm like anal like that and I don't like things that aren't like perfect looking so what I did also is as it started drying I then took like a little pin and if I saw any like little bubbles starting to form on the glue I just kind of popped it a little bit so that it didn't it looked finished on the edges so see here there's like a little bit of glue missing I might go in and touch that up with a little bit of glue. I took some glue and just poured it on this like little palette and then I dipped this into it and I just kind of like filled in the hole just so that it looks finished and it doesn't look raw. So I've been gluing them very slow one at a time and letting them dry so that they stay in position and don't slip and slide. So I'm going to go ahead and continue to do that. It's taking a while and I'll come back and show you the finished product. Okay, so I'm back with the finished product and I have to say I really love this project. It came out really super cute. Um, I did use start using the glossy accents because I got impatient. And as I suspected, it did dry faster, and it dries a little clearer almost, so the finish looks as nice. And if there is one of those like little bubbles where the glue um, isn't sealing it, it isn't as noticeable. So I would use the glossy accents to adhere it, but still use the paper glaze to put the paper to the cabochon. But um, I'm really in love with this project. It's really super adorable. The only thing is, is this bracelet in the kit is very light and very um, plasticky. It's not metal. And it almost is as if um, it's plastic that's coated with a paper, silver paper. Like if it got nicked, 
I feel like it almost would like maybe rip off. So I wouldn't suggest wearing this anywhere near water or doing active um, things. It seems very delicate, but for $3 for five bracelets, $3 a bracelet, it's really inexpensive and it does look super cute when it is finished. And the cabochons being on it does give it some weight. But um, this is the cabochon little brooch necklace that I finished and it's kind of like a matching piece. This is metal and so is um, the heart and the square gold rectangle and this like little cameo type of thing. These are metal and heavy duty so that is a plus in case you were wondering. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and I We'll talk to you guys soon um, for that beach towel. Talk to you later. Bye.